ليس السريان أنت سفيننا في لج بحر خافه سمعان وعقيدة الأجداد يربطنا بها حب أصيل نبعه الإيمان
لنا مذبح لا سلطان للذين يخدمون المسكن أن يأكل منه فإن الحيوانات التي يدخل بدمها عن الخطيئة إلى الأقداس بيد رئيس الكهنة تحرق أجسامها خارج المحلة لذلك يسوع أيضا لكي يقدس الشعب بدم نفسه تألم خارج الباب فلنخرج دم إليه خارج المحلة حاملين عاره لأن ليس لنا هنا مدينة باقية لكننا نطلب العتيدة فلنقدم به في كل حين الله ذبيحة التسبيح أي ثمرة شفاه معترفة باسمه آمين بارك الله
വന്നെങ്കിലും ജീവപ്രദങ്ങളുമായ കീടരഹസ്യങ്ങളെ വിശുദ്ധിയോടെ സ്വീകരിക്കത്തക്കവണ്ണം കൃപാപൂർവം ഞങ്ങളുടെ ആത്മാക്കളെ ശരീരങ്ങളെ വിശുദ്ധീകരിക്കുവാൻ വേണ്ടി സമയത്ത് നിങ്ങളേക്ക് നോക്കി അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു അവിടുന്ന് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വിമോചനവും വിമോചകനും വിശുദ്ധിയും വിശുദ്ധീകരണം നൽകുന്നവനുമായിരിക്കണമേ എൻ്റെ കർത്താവെ അവിടുന്ന് തിരുവിഷ്ടപ്പെട്ട ഭയങ്കരവും ബഹുമാന്യവുമായ ബലി വാഴ്ത്തപ്പെട്ടവനാകിയുടെ പിതാവിൻ്റെയും വിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിൻ്റെയും കൃപമൂലത്തിന് സന്നിധിയിൽ ഇപ്പോഴും എപ്പോഴും ഉന്നയിക്കും ഞങ്ങളുടെ രക്ഷയ്ക്കും അങ്ങയുടെ ശരീരത്തിൽ മുൻപ് കൂടി നിന്ന് പ്രാവശ്യമതായുള്ള പിതാക്കന്മാരുടെയും സഹോദരന്മാരുടെയും പ്രഭുക്കന്മാരുടെയും സംരക്ഷണത്തിനും പര്യാപ്തമായി തീരുമാറാകണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങേക്കും പിതാവിനും പരിശുദ്ധ റൂഹായും സ്ത്രീയും സ്തോത്രവും സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു ومحيلي ومحيلي بسور حب وشارين 
نحدود دوشات و قادش تو و الله غایی تو نسل شما دادی داری حیبه افراق و روح دید و قادش تو و شب خل اسفان العالمین شلوم الکل خون او روح دیلوم ندل شلوم و نحدودی کلوش القریبی نشخت و قانیش تو آنوی تو و به مران و آنوان من باتن شدم و قانیش و آنوی تو دیتیه مکتوموری و رحمانو بیشه نگیم نوحان نوحان اوش برحود آموری و رحمان آدم و رحم عمار و مکی خوصا
وخرك بشيء عادل سفيون برحمة عاتيرة شادا بوريا بركوثا قادش الفاري ودرشوثا روحا تدخلان واشبار المشتاطة والرازي محيوني دمشيحا فاروقا نسل شبعت عبيثا لحذاء الراء والروح إلى قديشا شبح الأسبال العلمين
be holy yourself in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is to be revealed. Then the flock of God that is your child, not be constrained but willingly, not for shameful gain but eagerly, not as domineering over those in your child, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is manifested, you will obtain the unfading crown of glory of the Bible Barak في 
تلفون شاعر وتلميذ وديلي قالو امار ما نومري نو شو دي زي بريد نو شو هلو ديلي امار اذا مريد يوحانون هم عمدونو حرون ديلي ليو وحرون ايراميو او حال بيل البيير امار هنا تون دين مان عمري تون دي زاي كالفان دين شمعون فضروس ويمر لي اتي زيك مشيحو او بريدا لوحو حايو وكالفان يشو عمر لي طوبك شمعون بريونو البسرو وادمو لغلولو إلو أبو ديل هاود بشمايو إلو أف إلو دينو مانلو داتي ثي كيفو وعلونو شوعو ابن العيتو ديل ترعين شول لو نحسنونو ويتلو حقيد الملبوثو دشمايو هاود سور على رعو نيوي يا سير بشمايو هو دنت شوي على رو نيوي شوي بشمايو شينا وشلوم الكل خون هيك شغلتو حبيبي In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one true God, I the undersigned Rambar Marcos, son of Mr. P. V. Jacob, Parlatu House, Atrekar, Kodamukalam, Ernavalam District, Kerala, India, presently residing at the Son of Prayer, the Syrian Monastery, Marara, Saitinia, Damascus, Syria. Aged 39 years, a sinful and humble servant of God, chosen for the ecclesiastical office of Assistant Metropolitan of the Evangelistic Association of the East in India, do hereby publicly acknowledge and declare that I am submitting this psalm also before Your Holiness Morangor Ignatius Saka Paschaiwas the Patriarch of Anyuk and all the East, who is the Supreme Head of the Universal Syrian Orthodox Church, spread throughout the world, and I am doing so of my own will, freely, voluntarily, and without being forced or compelled by anybody. First, I believe in God the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth and the entire universe. I do believe in the Holy Trinity comprising of three hypostases, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father is the begetter, the Son is the begotten, and the Holy Spirit is the one who proceeds from the Father and is worshipped with the Father and the Son. Three. In the fullness of time, in the second person of the Holy Trinity, the Word of God became man from the Virgin Mary by the Holy Spirit uniting Godhead with manhood. When he was in the manger, he was still with the Father. A complete and exhaustive integration of the divinity and humanity 
took place at the incarnation. Four. I also confess the unity of nature of the incarnated logos. He has only one will, hypostasis, energy, power and authority. He is fully human in his manhood and fully divine in his Godhead. He suffered willingly, was crucified and rose from the dead. He is the one who vivifies and comes to death the living and the dead. Five. I believe that the Church is divine institution founded for preaching in the salvation of the whole world. It is instituted for the salvation of the entire world. It is Kadori. As the Church is founded on the apostolic faith, it is apostolic. It is being guided and perfected by the Holy Spirit. Six. I believe and confess our Lord Jesus Christ appeared to his disciples after his glorious resurrection when the door of the upper room of the house of St. Mark was breathed on them and gave them the exalted power of priesthood. The apostles entrusted this great mystery to the generation that walk in their footsteps to the end of the world. Seven. Seven. I believe that all our seven sacraments administered in the church have been instituted by our Lord for the salvation of humanity. I admit the divine authorship of the books of the law and the prophets in the Old Testament and likewise that the four Gospels are inspired one which manifests in the revelation of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I am aware of the fact that I am bound to obey the canons and the regulations laid by the Church. I share in the faith of the Church in the communion with the saints and the resurrection of the departed. <coughs> I accept all the orthodox teaching of the Church. I acknowledge the writing of the Holy Fathers, the canons, and the decrees of the Ecumenical Councils of Nicaea, Constantinople, and Ephesus as binding. They are all divinely inspired articles of faith. I abjure all the false teaching rejected by the councils, the church fathers and the blessed patriots of Ambio. I condemn all the heretics uh, and those who accept their teachings. Nine. I confess my belief before the holy apostolic throne of St. Peter and the holy synod of the universal Syrian Orthodox Church and before is the president and the head of the synod, your holiness moral or ignatius Saka first I was, the patriarch of Andyuk and the all the east, that the patriarch is my supreme head, that I accept from Saint Peter, the chief of the apostles, up to your holiness, all the canonical patriarchs who have reigned on the holy throne and all those who succeed your holiness. I am bound throughout my life and life and subject to your holiness and your holiness successes in office for strict obedience of all directions and orders given and imposed and those <coughs> to be given in future. I have no right nor will I have no any reason to disobey or worry or deviate from them. Also, I will be duty bound to direct and advise others to, to obey them strictly and shall try my best to execute those orders and directions.
I shall never stand against the holy throne of Anduk or in the patriot hailing on it by word or deed and I will not do anything which may degrade the status and the position of the holy throne or the patriarch. I shall not alter and shall have no right or reason to alter any portion of the creed or doctrines of the holy seal or procedures of Andio. Nor shall I oppose, reject, alter or vary any part of the same. I accept and agree to abide by the provisions in the constitution of the Evangelistic Association of the East registered in 1949 with the number S9 bar 1949 under the Indian Society's Registration Act 21 of the 1860 and which has apostolic approval. Lord, if I imprint in the limits of my office as conferred upon me by your holiness or your holiness successes in office, your holiness and your holiness successes in office will have the right to expel and eject me from my order as metropolitan. And in case of my expulsion and dismissal from my position by the Patriarch, I shall have no right or reason to oppose such expulsion or dismissal, but to submit and yield to such orders. He who has conferred has the power to take away and dismiss. I pledge and promise to keep and carry out all the affirmation made in this canonical documents called Salmoso, and I do confirm of my own will that I shall be bound by this document in this presence of the living God, the holy angels, the living cross, the venerable gospels, the holy altar, holy virgin Mary, the mother of God, all the saints, your holiness, his beatitude, the Catholic gospel. Their grace, the metropolitans, the royal assembly of the clergymen, and the respected congregation of believers. As and when I break this promise and pledge and disobey <coughs> the commands and the orders of your holiness or your holiness successes in no peace, or acknowledge anything contrary to the rules and the teaching of the Holy Spirit Orthodox Church or believe in a doctrine contrary to that of the three Holy Ecumenical Synods and the Holy Universal Synods of the Sri Orthodox Church, I shall by that the very fact be deprived of the office entrusted to me and become accursed by the Church. I shall also become liable to be formally renounced and dismissed by your holiness or your holiness successes in office by virtue of the power vested in your holiness and your holiness successes in office by God to judge all. I beseech God Almighty to help me to fulfill in the affirmations I have made in this Salmoso and to discharge the duties of the office to which I am being appointed. <coughs> I pray your holiness to mediate for me before our Lord Jesus Christ that he may protect and conduct me by his grace and make me the fit and worthy to meet him with the joy after his second coming to judge the Duke and the dead amen.
ഗ്രന്ഥമുള്ള ഇടവും മുഴുവൻ പാപയും മോചനവനും ഘടങ്ങൾക്ക് പരിഹാരം ലഭിക്കുമാറായിരുന്നേ അങ്ങയുടെ ദൈവത്വത്തിന്റെ നിഗൂഢ വിഷയങ്ങളാലും നിന്നോടൊപ്പം തുല്യനായ നിന്റെ പുത്രന്റെയും സകലത്തിന്റെ മുത്തമനായ നിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധ റൂഹായുടെയും കൃപകളാലുമൊക്കെയും സാധിക്കുമാറാകണമേ സ്തുതിയും ബഹുമാനവും ആധിപത്യവും ഇപ്പോഴും എല്ലാ ഇപ്പോഴും എന്നേക്കും അങ്ങേക്ക് യോഗ്യമാകുന്നു
داشت خواه دادی دانستین انا با را قدیشا باشا خود از بعد العالمی
الدهوري خايا وخانيشي وتحادي لا الله ولا بصيروا ثان ما بصيروا ما بصيروا خانيشتو طيبوزو شريحيتو تخابير قالوا هذا هو يوشي رابو عبدي وبيض حطرو دويدان ومعنى فوق الدهوره برا مصرين هذوك الداوي الروبين بستر عونو للميق والبرع بعقوب عامي وجسوهيلي وتوزي هاو نشتي اعلوهي بو وعبادي نبقى روزي لتبطل من قريتو في ذيبون عار كل توزي جبيحو تو كنت دمروتو هو افروشو نيحوز بيدو دي لوخ ديابينو نرعي عامو فرعونو ومنتو من عالات لوخ كان زينات لوخ موني دروعيو حيو وشابير موضعوثو وانشافي خذو ما يكون عرمو اوف مكشتو مكشولو قاس طاووثو تقول ده طالو مريم تشتيح عيانو هوي ودامو هوتو قاديشي والفوني تريسا شبحو عونا معدمين امين Respected nuns and all our beloved faithful. We praise God today for His abundant blessings on our holy Syrian Order Church of Antioch and for granting us the grace to consecrate one more metropolitan for our holy church in India. We are all the more happy that our beloved brother in Christ is beatitude Catholicus Barbarius Thomas I and their graces our beloved metropolitans from Middle East and from India also are present here with, with us today. As you know, that ever since our beloved brother in Christ, his beatitude, Marbacelius Thomas I, took charge as the Catholicus and regional head of our holy church in India, our church in India has achieved great progress. The able guidance and leadership of his beatitude as well as the cooperation of our beloved metropolitans in India has contributed to this progress of our Holy Church in India recently. 
reassure the further progress and welfare of our various dioceses in India, five persons were elected according to the constitution which we had approved for our Holy Church in India in the year 2002. And as authorized by us, our beloved brother in Christ, his beatitude, Catholicos Marbacelius Thomas I, consecrated those five persons as metropolitans on July 3rd, 2006, the day of the feast of St. Thomas the Apostle. We are very happy that our five new beloved metropolitans, their graces, Mar Theodosius Matthews, Mar Afrem Matthews, Mar Stathavas Petros, Mar Eusebius Koryakos, and Mar Corilius Giovannis also are present here today. We thank God for granting these five new metropolitans to our church. And we pray God Almighty to grant them the strength and wisdom to fulfill properly their responsibilities to him and to his holy church. Our evangelistic association of the East in India, which is under which is an institution under our direct authority also has made good progress under the leadership of our beloved Metropolitan, His Grace Mark Walikarpos Gewalkis. Our Evangelistic Association of the East has about 40 churches, 9 schools, 2 orphanages, and 1 old age home, age home in India. So, considering the increase in the activities of our evangelistic association and the age and ill health of His Grace Mar Polycarpus, the general council of our evangelical association of the East, elected our spiritual son, Reverend Father Jacob Marcos, in accordance with the constitution of the association, and we were pleased to approve this election. He has been the general secretary of our evangelical association for the past two years, and knows it in its affairs very well. Now he has been consecrated a metropolitan and will be appointed as the assistant metropolitan of our evangelistic association in India. We pray God Almighty to grant him the strength and wisdom to fulfill his responsibilities properly and may his consecration and appointment be a blessing to our evangelistic association. We can congratulate him and the association. <coughs> Even though our evangelistic association in India directly <coughs> under us, we direct our new assistant metropolitans for our evangelistic association to respect and to cooperate with our beloved brother in Christ, his beatitude, Marva Serious Thomas I, for the glory of God and the welfare of our holy church in India. So too, he shall also cooperate with all our beloved 
metropolitan city in India for maintaining peace and harmony in our church in India. To all our new beloved metropolitans, we say with St. Peter, the chief of the apostles, then the flock of God that is your charge, not by concentrating, by willing, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not as dominating over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd comes, our Lord Jesus Christ, you will obtain the unfading crown of glory. May our church in India achieve more progress and welfare under our beloved brother in Christ, his beatitude, Catholicos, more Basilius Thomas first, and all our beloved metropolitans in India. And we once again thank your beatitude and your graces for your present here today. May the grace of God be with you all. Amen. Holy Father, your graces and beloved in Christ, Barakamo. The Universal Syrian Orthodox Church is growing rapidly all over the world. And under the Patriarch is the Evangelical Association of the East in India. Bishop His Grace Giorgis Mark Polikarpos is the Metropolitan of the Evangelical Association of India. Because of his ill health and old age, the General Council of the Evangelical Association of India have decided to ordain assistant metropolitan and that has been achieved today by the grace of God through the holy hands of the Holy Father. Deum Kandatia Mahabarishadana, Ipurde, Parishadabata Krishnava. Idiot the Enjur Shamanda, Idino Tender or Shatilati Mula, Valacha, Loga Memula, is suffocated by a Tunda, Protegit, Indian, Pashadra, and the Anagarata, Sapa, Adivayagam, Valadu Rigia. 
Our Holy Father has been chosen by God to lead this church and also to grow this church all over the world. In 25 years of Holy Father's reign on the Petrine throne, the church has grown immensely all over the world. At the time of the enthronement of the Holy Father on the throne of St. Peter, the church in India had its problems. We had questions about our survival in India. But uh, in 1982, the Holy Father blessed us with his apostolic visit. Ever since the visit in 1982, the church in India has grown uh, immensely. The church was further empowered by the apostolic visit of the Holy Father in the years 2002 and followed by 2004. I would like to mention only one thing for the, for the sake of time. His Grace Joseph Mar Gregorius, who is also the Secretary of the Holy Synod in India, is with us today along with the newly consecrated Bishop of Chrysostomos. Five other newly consecrated bishops are with us uh, today and for their information I would like to say one thing here. My desire and intention is that we should have metropolitan and bishops in India and elsewhere who will unquestionably obey the orders of the Holy Father on the Petrine throne. പ്രവർത്തിച്ചു <laughs> ായി <laughs> I'm grateful to the Holy Father for mentioning my name in his apostolic speech. Uh, the only thing I want to remind my fellow bishops here, including the one who has been consecrated today by the Holy Father, is that all the bishops should obey 
the orders of the Holy Father without question. And I seek the blessings of the Holy Father. I request all of you to pray for me.
Thank you.